नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू पेपर विच इज अवेलेबल ऑन द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑफ द आई सर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एम सी क्यू नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम दैट पेपर द प्रॉब्लम इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज रिलीज फ्रॉम रेस्ट फ्रॉम द इनर एज ऑफ अ हेमस्फेरिकल बाउल एंड इट फॉल्स अंडर ग्रेविटी द कोफिशंट ऑफ काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द बाउल इज म्यू इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट कवर्स एन एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट थीटा विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द सेंटर ऑफ द एमोस्फियर वेन इट स्टॉप फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एक्सप्रेशन इज करेक्ट म्यू इक्वल्स कॉट ऑफ थीटा बाय टू कॉट ऑफ थीटा टेन ऑफ थीटा और टेन ऑफ थीटा बाय टू टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल नीड एन अप्रोप्रिएट फिगर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द सिचुएशन and here is it in this figure the red semicircular arc is our bowl okay well it is actually a hemispherical bowl but we can actually take uh, the section of the plane a section of the bowl planar section in which the the object slides the black dot here is the initial position of the object okay this is the initial position okay where it is released from rest obviously it is going to slide down like this but because the surface is not smooth okay the friction will actually uh, oppose the motion and therefore it will lose some energy and as a result of that when it goes to the other side it will not rise to the same height uh, from which it was released okay so uh, the height is they have given the angular height we can say and that displacement is theta so let this be the uh, the position where the object comes to stop for the first time okay so here where this is the position where it stops for the first time okay let let let's say final position because we are no longer interested in its further journey okay so this is fine of although we know that we know that the object is not going to stop there it is again going to slide down to the other one other side this time with a smaller uh, linear displacement okay uh, so these are the initial and final positions for us for the analysis of the problem now to solve this problem uh, let us introduce the radius of the hemisphere as r okay radius of the hemisphere as r and uh, i have also shown an instant okay somewhere in between its uh, journey from its in initial position to its first stop and i have called that angular displacement as phi okay so this is the free body diagram the object is moving in this way the weight is forever going to act downwards w equal to m into g let us assume that the mass is m the normal reaction will be directed towards the center and because the motion is from left to right the frictional forces direction will be from uh, right to left okay so this mu times n is the frictional force okay mu times n is our frictional force okay we know that uh, this is how we find out uh, the force of friction okay so n is the normal reaction now uh, how can we actually determine the relationship between the angle theta and the coefficient of friction mu we can do that by energy conservation well not really energy conservation but we can say that the energy that this uh, object loses is basically converted into heat and that is basically the work done by the frictional force so we are going to start with that equation the equation is energy lost energy lost by the object is equal to the work done by frictional force okay maybe we can say the magnitude of the work done by the frictional force because it is always negative now what is the energy lost by the object the energy lost by the object is the potential energy change between this position of the object initial position and the final position okay so can we calculate this height of course we can calculate the height for that uh, consider this smaller angle which is pi minus theta 
okay and if i now draw a right triangle like this okay if i now draw a right triangle like this with radius being the hypotenuse and this being the right angle then uh, the height is actually the side in that right triangle which is opposite to the angle pi minus theta correct so we can say that uh, sine of pi minus theta into r that is the radius is height correct because sine theta is in the school trigonometry sine theta is opposite upon hypotenuse okay so sine sine of pi minus theta into r is equal to h or we can say that h is equal to r sine theta because sine of pi minus theta is uh, sine theta so what is the energy lost by the object energy lost by the object will be mgh or m into g into r sine of pi minus theta or sine theta okay now what is the work done by the frictional force to uh, find the work done by the frictional force we have to first consider we have to first consider an arbitrary position and we have to estimate the value of the frictional force at that particular location so we consider an angular position phi okay we consider an angular position phi and uh, this is the free body diagram and from this free body diagram what can we say we can say that uh, the weight okay uh, what portion of the uh, weight will contribute to the normal reaction look here first of all let me erase this blue arrow which is just an indicator of the motion okay now consider this right triangle okay with radius again being one of its uh, sides the hypotenuse okay this is uh, right angle this is phi so this angle will be pi by 2 minus phi okay this angle will be pi by 2 minus phi and so is this which i've already shown here okay this angle is pi by 2 minus phi so uh, because the object is not moving along the radius along the radius the forces must be balanced therefore weight that is mg into cos of pi by 2 minus phi okay must be equal to the normal reaction but we actually don't want normal reaction what we want is the frictional force because we are interested in determining the work done by that force correct so this is the force balance this is the force balance along radius force balance along radius and uh, what is cos of pi minus phi it will be sin phi that is equal to n and therefore frictional force which is mu times n where mu is the coefficient of kinetic friction they have already given it it will be mu mg sin phi okay now suppose dw okay is the work done by frictional force uh, during an instant where the object moves uh, through angular displacement of d phi okay so let me now show it here using green color suppose at this instant where we have shown under the influence of the three forces suppose the object moves or slides down a bit to its right okay and let's say this is its position and let this angular position be d phi okay let this angular position be d phi okay now what will be the distance traveled along the circular arc that will be r d phi so what will be the work done okay dw work done will be mu mg sin phi okay mu mg sin phi into r d phi because we know that work is actually force into displacement okay mu mg sin phi r d phi or we can say that this is equal to mu m g r which are all constants for this sin phi d phi okay sin phi so how can we now calculate the work done the work done will be the integral of this okay as uh, phi changes from 0 to theta 
ओके एस फाइव चेंजेस फ्रॉम जीरो टू थीटा एंड वी विल वी कैन वेरी इजीली इंटीग्रेट दिस बिकॉज म्यू इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट जी इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट एम इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट आर इज ऑल्सो अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वॉट इज द इंटीग्रल ऑफ साइन ऑफ एक्स लेट एस ओके विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इट इज नेगेटिव कॉस एक्स सो इट विल बी नेगेटिव ऑफ कॉस ऑफ पाए फ्रॉम जीरो टू थीटा ओके दैट नेगेटिव साइन इट वी एब्सॉर्ब इट हियर आउटसाइड नेगेटिव एम जी आर इट विल बी कॉस ऑफ थीटा माइनस कॉस जीरो दैट इज वन और वी कैन से इट इज एम जी आर इन टू म्यू इन टू ब्रैकेट वन माइनस कॉस थीटा ओके एंड दिस वर्क डन दैट इज डब्ल्यू दिस कैन नाउ बी इक्वेटेड विथ एम जी आर साइन थीटा ओके दिस एम जी आर साइन थीटा दर फोर एम जी आर साइन थीटा विल नाउ बी म्यू एम जी आर इन टू वन माइनस कॉस थीटा करेक्ट एम गोज जी गोज आर विल ऑल्सो गो एंड फाइनली वी आर लेफ्ट विथ म्यू इक्वल टू साइन थीटा अपॉन वन माइनस कॉस थीटा ना वॉट इज साइन थीटा इट इज टू साइन थीटा बाय टू टू साइन थीटा बाय टू कॉस थीटा बाय टू हाफ एंगल फॉर्मूले वॉट इज वन माइनस कॉस थीटा टू साइन स्क्वेड थीटा बाय टू 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 गोज टू टू गोज वन साइन थीटा ऑल्सो गोज एंड फाइनली वी आर लेफ्ट विथ कॉस ऑफ थीटा बाय टू अपॉन साइन ऑफ थीटा बाय टू और कॉट ऑफ theta by 2 and that is option a okay that is option a that completes solution to question number